Let's get ready for the Dark Brotherhood. <clears throat> Right. Do you think the uh, Jaws characters coordinate best with each other? Well, I would disagree. I think the Void Warden is insane with the Mind Thief. That's just ridiculous. Because the Mind Thief's augments will apply to all attacks he gets from the Void Warden. They also use the same elements. It's fantastic. Uh, I think... The Cragheart and the Demolitionist together. It's just bullshit. There's gonna be obstacles everywhere. It almost felt like cheating doing uh, those two together. Because all of the th things that has to do with obstacles, you can just place them with the Cragheart and the Demolitionist can use them. Fantastic. Uh, so I would say those two guys they have some insane synergies with uh, some of the base characters and of course the red guard demolitionist great they both use fire so you can give uh, fire to each other i think also demolitionist he uses two elements uh he's kind of good with the elementalist yeah Yeah, there are a few, right, definitely. Uh, but if you pair them up with the right characters, like here, here there's nothing. Well, I mean, Sunkeeper and Redguard uses the same elements, so that works well. Anyways, let's uh, start the Dark Brotherhood. But I, I wasn't even, like when I put the Void Warden and the Mind Thief together, I was like, yeah, well, they use the same elements. And then it's like, well, let's give the Mind Thief an attack. And he's like, oh shit, he gets the bonuses from his augments on his attacks that he gets from the Void Warden. Uh, which mm, suddenly is a lot better. As you near Hammerholm, the usual smell of sulfur and soot on the wind is missing. The town itself is quiet. No people are on the streets, and the doors to the houses are barred. But the sound of drum beats and slow chanting. Drum beats and slow chanting fills the air. You head towards the source of the noise, an entrance to an underground crypt left unguarded. Usually a sign that those within don't need protecting. Yeah. But like of the six basic classes, of the six basic classes. Oh, and there no wait. I want to also. Yeah, the void one can move people around. That works. That I actually used well with the tinker, because I could get him into good positions with the shield and with the uh, enhancement field. And the Tinkerer has a lot of bottom abilities. That's good. So like, but that's a small synergy though. Um, I think from the six starting characters, who's weak? I don't think Mind Thief is the strongest. I think he's very strong. <laughs> Especially at this mission, there's other guys too stronger. Yeah. Yeah, the Mind Thief uses a lot of bottom actions as well. Yeah, it was... It was a realization for me, <laughs> playing those two together. Kill a monster not adjacent to you while you are adjacent to another monster. That might well happen here. I think Tinker is kind of good for these missions because he can burn a lot of cards. Uh, never end your turn at... Okay. Nobody gets exhausted. Kind of doubt we're going to be able to do that. I don't know. Suddenly... Yeah. I feel like these missions are way... They scale much more on the difficulty if there's one room. Uh, murder is usually easy, but the professional is already done more or less
There are several rooms. You enter the tomb and see hooded figures performing rites. Cultists? No. They carry swords and shields. Bandits. Okay. These bandits have access to powerful magic. I can see they have open portals through which necromantic energies are flowing. Ignore the undead if you can. You must kill all the bandits to stop the right. Okay. I real I was really expecting this to be uh one big room. There's three rooms. That means I can do a long rest after this room. And a long rest. Yeah, this suddenly does not seem as hard. Let's see. Uh... Net shooter possibility. That one takes care of one dude. He's very annoying. I could do stun. I can probably go late here. Well, at 31. Deal with two guys. Get some wound out. Then again, he can probably do the same thing. That would take care of people. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, but I, I mean, you have four characters in Joseph Line, right? And they are they work well with each other for sure. But if you look around at the combos among all of the gloomhaven characters there's a lot of combos there but there's obviously a bunch of uh combos that are not there as well but yeah like li like you said this is kind of uh <laughs> those are weird ed elements for the red guard to have but there's a reason for it But like for the basic characters, I think the Crag Heart might be the strongest. I also think the um, uh, the um, Spell Weaver is insane for damage, and I think the Tinkerer. Tinkerer probably one of my favorite characters, but probably like maybe strongest uh, of the six starting characters with the Spellweaver at the first level or levels then you get the Mind Thief and the Cragheart really gets going after a little while um, okay so this is one way to take care of everything or or we could go for the Vuund next turn if I just or we could go for move three. What can you do on the bottom with not that much? Mm, let's just do this. We get wound on the bandits probably. Or maybe the skeleton. And he can stun someone at the end as well. Okay. This works very well. Hmm. I'll give rune to the bandit. You're gonna disarm him. 
Oh, I need to do the skeleton, right. Yeah, I don't think... With the Tinkerer, I kind of struggle dumping a bunch of the level 1 cards. Because they're still pretty good. Like, the, the newer cards aren't better. Have you looked at 2nd edition, though? I looked like once on the uh, second edition cards. Oh. Oh, let's just do this. Yeah, this one's good. Uh, yeah, right. I picked this level 2, it's fine. I don't like this. I mean, they're, they're kind of useful, but... Like, this is 3 people for 4 damage. Versus 1 dude for 6. It's like, okay, I, I think Ink Bomb's better. Anyways, let's stun this guy. Mm. So the skeleton is doing shit next turn. Hmm... Right. I'll go Enhancement Field. Just put out Poison on someone. Can I... Don't really have a way to deal with the skeleton. Um, I could move, of course, if he does something really bad. I could do that. Strength. Get a shield. Maybe tank this. I want to go after him. Okay, let's do this. And we'll see what he does. Maybe we mobilize him and move the Tinker instead of using Enhancement Field. Uh... But I'll, I'll also throw in, like, Spellweaver with Fire Orbs, Power Potion, Goggles, and Piercing Bow. <laughs> and of course, that depends on how many people you're playing with. I've played mostly with 2 and 3, and with 2, it's like the area attacks are going to hit less people, right? That's when I like the Spellweaver with uh, multiple targets, because that's easier to pull off. Um, can I attack several people somehow? I guess we'll do... Uh, hammer Blow... Move, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Show, I don't think I can be standing there, after all.
Well, I could take the hit with him, I guess. How far did he move? Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, trap. Didn't even see that. Uh, yeah. I'll take the one hit here. I'll put the poison on him. Hmm, yes. Well, that was helpful. Double damage there. Nice. We got light. Uh, this is a big hit, so I think we're going to go... Regard. Nice. All right, let's do net shooter. We can immobilize, move away. And we can do... Yeah, I have too many burns here, right? Once again, I'm stuck with a bunch of cards I can't really use. Let's do auto turret. Yeah. Then we can immobilize both of these guys at 19. Hmm. Do we have a bottom attack? No. So for the bottom, I don't really have... I have this. Can we generate? I can generate. Hmm. Yeah, let's do these two. Or swift strength. Do some damage on them. He will then do... Well, I think we'll do this. So the strength is only going to affect the Tinkerer. That's annoying. Well, how far do I move with him? Okay, I can use my boots to get uh, skip. Uh, skip. I'll go here. Get my strength in. Have you only played on uh, digit? Oh, fuck. He went early. Right. Bastard. Ouch! Um. Closing in on the end, I might. Okay. Was considering doing uh, the goggles there. Should have in hindsight. Uh, I don't need to do the extra. Let's just do this. Okay, he's out. Yeah, ranged attack is only range two, right? Hey, lady. Mm. 
I'd like to do one damage to this guy. <laughs> Can I generate light again? Maybe with my attack. I'll go early and this should be a kill. Do you want these guys to kind of... Uh... Can't do that. If I'm lucky, I generate. Um, I have no pushes with these guys. So also like basically now I'm just trying out a bunch of different teams though. Um, so there's nothing like perfect about what I'm trying to do. I'm also trying different cards than I normally do on some people. On other people, I can't, I'm not able to <laughs> change my ways. Yeah. Here we're like full support suddenly. I don't have anything useful to do with the bottom. He's probably dead. He's the annoying guy right now. I do want to heal. And like, I could muddle if he's a problem, I guess. Four damage, that is fine. This is annoying to have to do, but. Oh, we got fire twice. Well, that's awesome. Um, yeah. If I'd gone later, I could have done the attack. Well, actually, 61 wouldn't have been good enough. Use your items a bunch. <laughs> this stopped being good the minute we uh, dumped everyone that created Earth. <laughs> and I think this never helped me, actually. I think this is a fun item. But also, it's kind of shitty. <clears throat> Who takes the hit? I guess Red Guard takes the hit. That makes the most sense. <clears throat> um, yeah. Mm, get movement and remove that as well. Why didn't I go next to him? I could have muddled him. I realize that now. And then I... Sometimes I confuse myself. Sure. Well, actually I want him to have the gold instead. The giving attack thing is a bottom action, is it? Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead. Yeah, that's not too bad. I can attack both of them and get disadvantage. That's fine. You move away, which is annoying. Uh, let's do crank bow. And then... All right. I don't generate. 
Like, if I do, I could change what I do. I'll do these two. Mm, I want to kill them, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, attack anyways here. There's my push, right. We do have one push. I'm gonna go with strength potion on this. Actually, no. We did get light. Hmm. What's he doing? Attack for three. That's not too bad. The cards do we have left? We kind of want to long rest next turn. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, I guess we do that. Heal yourself. <laughs> All right. Um, it's tempting to do the bottom of this. I've only used my net, so I could short rest. And then avoid a red guard losing any cards. Yeah, let's do that. Because we've burned... Well, we burned... That means we burned three cards. Yeah, it's fine. I still have one attack left. Um... I don't think I need this low initiative, but moving the others doesn't seem to do too much for me right now. Yeah, he doesn't lose a card. That's nice. Short rest, let's see. I'll redraw that. That is fine. I hate micro boots. I never use micro boots. I guess it's, yeah, it has to do with my play style though. Because I never need the uh, <clears throat> heal six. Or I rarely need to use the heal six. I don't like healing in combat. How many rooms was there? There were there three rooms. Um, we got this here. That's gonna be good. Do we do... This one's not working out for me. I don't... Uh, let's do the top of Flame Shroud. Holy Strike. He generating he's not he's generating flame right and the bless sure we'll bless well hopefully I can stun them I think it would make more sense to move further let's do that and for you my good sir Stun shot and ink bomb. We'll see what's best. It's 
Skeletons, move two. Discuss moving, one, two, three. So I guess jump would be nice. They're moving two, they're not dangerous. They're moving two, which range, or he's moving two, range four, not gonna hit me. Moving two. Yeah, I don't want this. gonna do that thing let's hit the big guy yeah that was a mistake <laughs> I could already stun him undo undo <laughs> Uh, I mean, this guy probably just dies from the pool next turn. Well, I guess we punish for four. I mean, that's okay. I feel like we could wait for the enemies. I have fire. No. Get fire next turn as well. I'll do this. What are we afraid of here? One, two, three. I think maybe. Probably the skeleton is the only one. This one is the only one that can attack us. And maybe, or maybe him as well. But he often stands still, doesn't he? Hmm. Oh, I'm generating, right. I'll do those two. That will be some attacks. Hmm. Okay. Nice. I'll take that hit. I'll take a couple of hits probably from that guy. Ooh, one, two, three, four. I can pull him first and then pull him. Then I could stay here. He moves for one, two, three, four. Want the element? Okay. Taking some damage. Oh, okay, that's fine. Nice. Cool. 
ignore the undead. Why would I ignore the undead here? Let's put this on him. Yeah. How many cards I really want to get back? I think we might do this. Net shooter. I don't get my fourth target. And disarm someone. Or maybe this. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, he has both of those. Hmm. If I could kill him. Hmm. I need more attacks on this guy. I don't really need to... Okay. I can move away. I'd like to wound some people. Let's do that. Probably give him some cards back. He's got really high initiative then. Um, move two, move one. Okay. Okay. I'll save my stun for the last room. That's nice. He stays. We only get attacked by this guy. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Mm, sure. Extra target. Well, that worked out. Um, strengthen or blessing? I'll do strength. Forgot to give cards back. Um. Oh. Okay, they got a shield. That's annoying. I'll give cash to the others. Man, 
then with this card you can move so far you can move eight easily with this guy um i do have cards for next turn as well Probably long resting, so. Blessing or attack. I mean, attack probably isn't gonna do shit. These do doesn't matter. Um, one of the burned cards. Hmm. No, he doesn't have burned cards. Oh, I could do it with him. Let's take net shooter back. I like the low initiative. He's dead. Yeah, he moved next to me, right. Ended up using Flaming Sickle, the bottom there, way more than I did earlier. I don't feel like I need this. Sure. A level 7 card. I'm not gonna need heals in the last room, I think. Shit, look at all the elements we have. I'm not even trying. Um... One, two, three, four. Ink bomb. Do I, do I even have a heal anymore? No. Uh... Uh. I'd use an, I might use Net Shooter and Enhancement Field soon. I don't know. We can bring things back anyways. We have potions, don't we? cards have burned? like he hasn't burned a card yet there's one rune left we've done a decent job with the tinkerer though yeah i've used this i used that i used that and i burned those two uh what are my nobody gets exhausted right i'll remove that I think the bottom is great, but it's not needed. Yeah, I don't need that. I want to get fire. But I'm not going to be able to get that. I have... I don't have to move four cards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I don't like where I'll end up there. 
Can I give away movement? Or did I... I definitely removed that. Damn it. That's nice. Why didn't I keep that? I think we might be using two turns to get ready for the next room. <clears throat> yeah. Did I just skip movement? Yeah, right. Ah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can do this. Oh, that's nice. We want to go later. Sure. There we go. He's so good in between rooms. Throwing out blessings, giving in back cards, and moving. Awesome. Uh, I'll stand here. I'm pretty sure we'll just run in. Hmm. So I'm gonna not do much. So. Do these two? I'll probably do disorienting flash running in, or maybe. One, two, three, four. Yeah, really regret not having uh, uh, the bless and the strengthen. I should have seen that I would use a little time to get into the next room uh, I'm doing this when I go in I think I'm generating light already okay Getting shields, that's probably like a uh, perk thing for him, right? I want this. And... Maybe this. <clears throat> Pull people next to him. Um, <clears throat> oh, right. Uh, okay. Let's do this. We will move with four and burn away the dark use the warhammer cautious advance three <laughs> could do the bottom of that Go at 31. 
and go at 73. Okay. <clears throat> Why do I have to target them? Let's get Bless on this. Four? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to run in here. I just get attacked. One, two, three, four. I mean, I can take the hit from him. He's just going to heal the wound. One, two, three, four. I could stand here. I would... Well, I'm not using the Warhammer, probably, so... Do I have a jump for next turn? I do. Well, that's kind of annoying. If I go away, like, hmm. Just need to kill the bandits, though. And I'm done, right? Ah, hmm. The boring place to stand. <clears throat> Nobody's moving either, right? Well, this is kind of stupid. I guess we go back. I'll pull up Net Shooter, maybe next turn. I need to open up for them coming in here. Disarm him. Move three, 64, standing still, moving two. Okay, people are coming forward at the very least. Let's um, muddle me because he's a dick. Now he's going to go one, two, three, and then no one else is going to come forward. <sighs> Unless I, yeah, but I'm not going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'll go there. I'll go there. Oh, okay, cool. I actually counted... counted wrong. If I go forward, he's not gonna move forward. But I can move early next turn, move away again. Shit. I'll do my uh, advantage attack. 
Short rest, not net shooter. Cool. Let's do net shooter and enhancement field. One, two, three. Damn it. Let's go light. Bad positioning. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, we gotta move as early as we can, I think. We can stun him. Move and attack a little bit, sure. Bone Ranger standing still for the third uh, round in a row. just unnecessary to do this still. Okay. Stun shot. That one. Let's short rest. Okay. Can you... Go late. Your hammer blow. Generate. one they're standing still okay <laughs> who do we want to bleed these guys are he's moving that's important He's coming forward, that's cool. We got fire. There's gold we're missing out on. How many cards do they have that they stand still? You can almost rely on it. Strength nonetheless. Hmm. Let's just go late. Kill these two guys. Might as well go 
early. Hmm. Give some cards back to someone. Or wait, we can do the bottom. Okay. Maybe. Uh, he's not moving. And the Rangers are standing still. I feel like half their cards are uh, like a 50% chance of them just not moving. What's he doing? Moving two? Okay. Dead. Skip pull. But it gets exhausted, that's your job. What I what am I trying to do with the two others? Sharker, done it! <laughs> Great! Let's go get the gold and punch. Short rest. Uh, short rest. What's your job? Use your items, right? You can jump in. Let's go late with people. Kind of late. And... Do we get... The powering command and... Hammer below, let's see. We've said 30. Nice. Hey! These guys are coming. He can jump, right? So I might as well just do this. Guess I went a little bit overboard with the uh, uh, attack for two, attack for three, or it's attack for three. That doesn't really matter. That was a bit much. Oh. Okay, we need to use cards this turn. I have loot. Cool. Let's see what happens here. Forgot to use my eye. I've used enough items. Cool. Should have walked and pulled. That would have uh, given me more. It's getting a lot of gold. Nice. Cool. Could have moved away from him, of course, but. 
I'll uh, let uh, my uh, Sun Keeper take the gold. <clears throat> We've had it easy today. With the magic users dead, the portals close and the undead the turn to dust. Their power is extinguished and their hold on this town is broken. Cool. Got all of those. Look at that. Sunkeeper just playing support. Decent damage on the uh, Tinker as well. I mean, that was very close, actually. Splint mail design! The blacksmiths of Hammerholm were overjoyed with your work. I have some new armor in stock. Yes, yes, yes. We uh, would like to get this armor. Probably... I mean, at the moment you have armor, so we're gonna go Sun Keeper for the Splint Mail. But we gotta save some cash then. Hmm, anything on Trainer? Run in the forest or anywhere else. Run! Perform 30 move actions of <laughs> fun. We're gonna face some more hounds. Red guard consumes 60 elements, getting there. Mmm, okay. So that's Hammerholm. Mill pod. Oh, what is this? During your attack. Oh, shit. I love the stun powder. I don't think I've ever seen this. What the hell? I like it. We also want to sight or whatever. Um. Do I have anything I want to buy? I want to save up for the armor and you have everything. So we're back to this then. What do we do? Would be cool if you could add an extra slot to the top. So it would do it one more time. There's the plus move. The extra shield. I'll do an extra shield. Sure. I like this. I think there's other things I'll remove before that. Mm, and Tinkerer can get a blessing. What happens now? Continued donations have been tr a tribune to the sanctuary and the city as a whole. This will surely have a noticeable impact on the city, but rest assured we could all always use additional aid. Devotion to... Oh! I don't hate that. So we do get some uh, new stuff here then. Oh, did he tinker just get that? Huh. Well, right now I don't need the Wonder Frost on anyone. How's the, how does the unbind, oh, it's not bound to anyone, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, frost, not anything I need right now. Unless, 
<laughs> that is, that's pretty cool. So give the one of frost to a tank, like Sunkeeper, and then have the wave crest on your head. That would be fun. Like anytime there's like, oh, this guy's gonna attack me, I can position myself here, let people go in and then uh, push them back. Maybe we should get the wave. I think we're gonna go for the wave quest. At least we're gonna try that option. Having the wave quest and the one of frost. That seems like fun. I think we're doing this next. Yeah, let me get something to drink. And we'll uh, we'll go with uh, at least one more today. Cheers. <laughs> 